when someone devalues you, what they're doing is they're taking your worth, they're taking your who you are as a person, they are breaking down essentially any value that you have in relationships, in life, as a human being, and they are taking control of that by saying, you're not worth something, prove to me you are, or you're not worth something, only when I tell you you're worth something are you worth something. When you're with a narcissistic person and they start the devaluing process, they have idealized you, they have love bombed you, they have shown you that they are so into you, so excited by you, that you're just this amazing person, and then they tear it down. That is the devaluing. That is when the relationship has shifted and you are now with this narcissistic person in the love bomb devalue cycle of the way narcissistic people relate in relationships. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and recover from narcissistic relationships. A narcissist will place you up on a pedestal and then knock you off. Why do they do that? They do this in order to maintain control of the relationship so that you do not question them, so that when you question them, they can come back at you with something bad about yourself. A narcissist gains control in a relationship when you are spinning out of control. When you're trying to prove yourself in the relationship or who you are or what you said, when you are trying to defend yourself and show your worth, when you're trying to get it back to the way it was when they were love bombing you and it was happy times, the narcissist has control. They are now in control of your happiness. They're now in control of your self-worth. You're going to try and bend over backwards to fix things just to keep peace, just to keep things level. You're going to oftentimes be feeling so bad about yourself that you'll do anything and excuse any behavior that the narcissist does. You're gonna be confused by who's the one doing the thing in the relationship that's toxic. This is a form of supply for a narcissistic person. You see how it would give them attention and power? I know that this is really, really difficult to deal with and, and it, it breaks down your self-worth, your self-esteem. And I know that sometimes support is needed for this, so check out the information in the main description of each video because I have lots of information for you guys on where to find support. And I also offer coaching and group coaching, so check it out, okay? So let's keep going with the devaluing. Basically, a narcissist will devalue you anytime. They don't need a reason. They don't need an excuse. They don't need a problem to happen. They don't need anything. They will just devalue you at any time. Once the devaluation cycle has begun, the devaluation cycle is now part of your relationship with them. It is part of how they're going to interact with you. It doesn't go away and stop. It can go away for a long period of time with some more covert narcissists, but it will come back. So once they they have you in this devaluation, they actually view you in this devalued way. They actually see you as less than. They are looking for reasons to make you less than them. They are looking for reasons to inflate their own ego through having you be not as good as them or the problem causer, the crazy one, the one that's too sensitive. They need you to be that role so they can assume the role of power, the role of hierarchy in the relationship. And there are a lot of ways in which they do it. One is gaslighting. By gaslighting you, they're saying, your experience doesn't matter, your words don't matter, and your voice doesn't matter. You've been devalued. They will form a victim stance and play the victim. They do this, makes you the perpetrator of problems and pain in their life. And then you are devalued because you know you're actually not that, right? You know that you are the person who's been trying, the person who's been giving, the person who's been supporting the relationship. But by taking the victim stance, we start caretaking them when they pull the victim card, okay? And when they do that, they have valued your role as the actual victim or as the person who has been trying to maintain this relationship and taken that value and thrown it out. They may resort to name calling. They may get physically violent. They may start projecting all of the, or they will start projecting all of their issues onto you. So they will preload a narrative by projecting what they're going to do or have done onto you or how they behave right? So many times people will tell me, they tell me I'm the one gaslighting, but I don't think I'm gaslighting. I think I'm just telling the truth. So yeah, they will do that projecting 
in order to devalue your worth in that moment so that what you say doesn't matter and what you say is irrelevant and wrong, which means they're right. It can be subtle, it can be cunning, and it can come out of nowhere. So when you have someone devaluing you, what do you feel? Okay, let me know what you feel in the comments. How about things like shut down, shut out, invisible, irrelevant, wrong, crazy, the problem, unseen and unsettled, questioning what it was you did, questioning whether or not you could have done something different and made it better. So all of these things and then some, let me know what you guys think. The problem with the devaluing is more than just the devaluing. What happens when you're in a cycle with a narcissistic person where they are love bombing you and then devaluing you and it is intermittent, meaning that it happens sometimes, doesn't happen other times, random, you don't know when it's coming. Sometimes you do know when it's coming, right? It's very mixed up and it's very random. It creates cognitive dissonance. It creates the trauma bonding. So the problem is, this cycle becomes addictive to our brains because when they are devaluing us, one of the major things that's happening is we start chasing, trying to make it better. We engage in the cycle and start activating our brains into trying to heal things, trying to make it better with this person, trying to stay safe from this person, whatever it is, it's engaging. And when we engage, the trauma bonding begins to happen. And the more we do it, the deeper those trauma bonds get. Remember that when they love bomb you after they devalue, they are not showing you the truth. They are not showing you they're a good person. What they're showing you is a mask. They're showing you, look, I can put this on and do this if you behave. Or I'm in this mood, so we'll do this now, right? If the narcissist is in a certain mood, then the whole world is in that mood, according to the narcissist. If you're stuck in this love bombing and devaluing cycle, please get some help, get some support, talk to someone. And you guys hit the thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.